To do this technique that I'm going to do, there's a few things you're going to need. You're going to need a tarp just to protect wherever you decide to do this at. You're going to need some dish soap, gel kind, like that I guess. I'm going to try this. You need some black spray paint. And you're going to need a really colorful painting. So we're about ready to get this party started. All right, so I've got the painting on the tarp. And the next step is to take the dish soap and kind of squirt it just randomly onto the painting. I'm going to do that, and then I'll be back to show you the next step. Woo-hoo! Fun time! Okay, so I flung the paint with a lot of uh, diagonal stripes, and I did a little bit of uh, Jackson Pollock swirly type stuff. And that was a full bottle when I started. So that's about how much I used. So we're gonna get the spray paint and that's our next step. Well, I just dropped the paint. Well, this is the paint. Just some cheap spray paint. I think I found it at Wally World or someplace. Hear that train? Yeah, I live close to train tracks. You'll get used to it, I did. But I'm just gonna seriously spray paint this and I'm gonna do a full out coat of black over the whole thing and then I'll be back. I've been painting it for probably, I don't know, probably a little less than a minute now. Top part, I haven't spray painted at all. Bottom part, starting to see where the black is coming on there. All right, this is kind of where we're at on it. I think I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. And I'm gonna put some more black on there because I really want that black to be kind of bold and stand out. And as you can see, the dish soap is kind of repelling the black spray paint. So I think it's going to really look cool. While you're waiting, put on some favorite shoes. Ask yourself, is the grass really greener on the other side? And of course, have something to drink. And maybe your favorite snack. Your favorite snack. Not mine, yours. Waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Okay, I'm sitting here just letting this dry, listening to the birds chirp, listening to the trains go by. And I was just thinking the first quote out of my husband's mouth is going to be, What have you done to my painting? Actually, no, that's my painting. What have you done to my tarp? That's what he's going to say. A few things to keep in mind. Um, I almost used that whole can of spray paint. There's probably maybe 25% of it left. Shake that can a lot. Get that ball to rattle. Um, other important things. Don't stand downwind of the paint. It might do something to your brain. And you might kind of start doing weird things and not even realize that you're doing them. The painting's starting to dry. That whole crisscross scribbly pattern that you see. That is the dish soap. It's uh, saving the paint that was on there before. And it's repelling the black spray paint. That was painted with oil paint in the beginning. And then I wanted to try this. So I added some acrylic on there. So it's really kind of a, a mixed media piece. Back here in my dry dead patio, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. So while I've been waiting, I got this big tub of water ready. Dang it, Phelps! How'd you get in there? Oh my gosh, he wanted an Olympic sized pool. Well, I would use the hose, but that would really get the dogs to bark and you probably wouldn't be able to hear a word I say. I've got to get Phelps out of here. Oh, great. Now Seth is in the picture. Hold on, I'll get him out of here. All right, I've checked the painting in a few inconspicuous spots to make sure that it's dry. Like I said, you could use a hose for this, but I'm just gonna do water pour. Yeah, right out of Phelps' swimming pool, exactly. So I'll show you what this looks like once I get it all rinsed. All right, so I'm literally standing in water right now. That's why you don't do this in your living room. This is kind of what it's looking like. 
So I'm gonna take a towel and I'm gonna towel dry it and I'll show you some more. You kids, get out of my tractor! Go back home! I tell you, kids these days, no respect. Okay, I'm out of breath. Had to chase down those kids, get that tractor back. <sighs> Had to get Phelps back in his tank. And I can't find Seth the banana anywhere, so that's on my to-do list. I just kind of patted this dry. And once it's completely dry, I'll use a couple of items maybe. I'll give you some options that will uh, put like a clear gloss protective coat. So if you want to put a gloss or protective coat, either one of these items would work nicely. The Liquitex is a brush on option. You don't want to put it on thick. You want to put it on in thin layers and let each layer completely dry before you put another one on. I mean completely dry. Otherwise, you're going to get this nasty little haze effect that you're going to hate. And this, of course, this is just a spray on. Shake it really well. Spray it on there. Of course, you don't want to do it downwind. It makes you do crazy things. I'm kind of low tech, but I'm a lot of fun. I encourage you to check out some of my other videos, like my innovative makeup video on the Blue Blue Banana Retirement Channel, or my spaghetti 